When we teach reading, we are opening doors for students. Professor Beckett emphasized the difference between decoding skills and understanding the author's purpose and meaning of the text. Decoding is finding the meaning of each word. Understanding the author's purpose and the social purpose of the text involves much more. This distinction is very important for reading today because students need to be able to evaluate what they read on the internet. The reading skills students need today are called critical digital literacy. Critical digital literacy is the skill of making an evaluative analysis of the materials on the internet. Critical digital literacy can start with the critical reading skills that we need to teach. There is an excellent forum article from a teacher in Brazil that provides clear advice about teaching critical reading. You can find the link to this article in the Reading Resource Corner. The article, called Encouraging Critical Reading in the EFL Classroom, shows the difference between teaching decoding skills and teaching critical reading skills. When we teach decoding skills, students locate information in a text to answer a specific question. They focus on only parts of the text, not the text as a whole. They do not read between the lines or evaluate the credibility and source of the information. They typically do not find reading challenging or fun. When we teach critical reading, students respond to questions that require analysis about the origins, topic, and purpose of the text. They focus on the whole text and how language and content contribute to the overall meaning and purpose of the text. They read between the lines to analyze the author's intended meaning and evaluate the credibility of the author's words. They become engaged by drawing on their previous knowledge, skills of analysis, and joy of discovery. Critical reading skills are more important today than ever because students have direct access to so many texts on the internet. And each text was written by an author with a purpose. Each text may contain accurate information or it may not. Remember, Wikipedia was created by volunteers. Anyone can get a social media account and post anything. No expertise is required. Because anyone can write and post something on the internet, critical reading skills are important life skills. So, how can we help students to develop their critical digital literacy? The author, Roseanne Correa, gets us started by showing the distinction between decoding and critical literacy. So we can then create tasks that engage students in both. For example, on the Voice of America page, we can start by looking at a news story with some decoding questions. What happened? Where was it? Who was involved? After that, we can ask some more critical questions. Who publishes Voice of America? When did this organization begin and why? What do you know about the topic of this news story? Why do you think it was chosen for Voice of America? What does the language in the story tell us about the author's perspective? How could a different author write about this story from a different point of view? Can you find another text on the internet that takes a different perspective on this story? How does the language signal a different perspective? These types of questions require students to analyze the news rather than just decoding it. 
It asks them to consider the source and their purposes. It encourages them to analyze the author's perspective and consider the possibility of another perspective. These are reading skills learners need for the internet.